Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Moore's Clothes. Good morning. Looks like rain today. Before that, uh, I actually got a uh, message from somebody on OfferUp and Let Go, or was it Facebook Marketplace? One of those places. Anyway, some lady wants to buy my uh, Toro Recycler. Uh, I have it listed for 165, and she offered me 120. And I says, Do you know what you're buying? Front self-propelled and a bagger, and it's a Toro. She goes, um, what's the lowest? And I says, well, think about it. People ask that all the time, what's the lowest? Don't you think that normal people would just write what they want for it, you know what I mean? So 165 is the lowest, right? But I said, I'll take 150 for it. So she goes, that's fair. I'll meet you at the church. So I'm gonna meet her in the church in a little while. I wanna start her up and see if it starts. It's been uh, a very bad time right now because um, I haven't sold shit in two weeks uh, while other people are selling little here and there but slowly just primed it a few times it's that time of year where you've already had a mower for the season you know and everybody that's mowing their lawn up to now has already got one so you're buying one right now unless yours is broken which I think is what the perp case is <laughs> That's a little disconcerting. sitting here for a week so you know and I should add some gas in there for her too just so we can test it at the uh, yeah it's very low on gas that's why um, anyway hopefully we'll sell this for $150 today that'll be a good start to the day oh I still have all this stuff in my van you know what I have to bring this to my mom's this week or something so I just leave it in there might as well take the seat out and look what I found in my van. <laughs> this is the original pulley from the Toro LX460. As you can see, how the width of the uh, top drive pulley is much wider than the one that I'm using. So maybe I should uh, maybe I should replace this pulley onto that tractor. I go, oh, I'll betcha he's going to come by later. And then, of course, you didn't see this. It was this. <laughs> oh, well, I thought that was part of the way. Oh, okay. So if it's like this. Uh, oh, by the way, I made the video for the 10,000 subscribers. It's awesome. I can't wait to send it to you. It's really awesome. Uh, but it probably won't happen for another month. Uh, I watched um, a Chris Platt movie yesterday on Amazon Prime, The Tomorrow War. It was good. You watched it? Yeah, it was good. I mean, it was entertaining. You know what I mean? No, it was, it was okay. It's a really interesting storyline, you got to admit. Like, to, to think about the fact that they were always here, that's, that's you know, it's all possible. Because it was like, it's War of the Worlds meets this one meets that one. I mean, it's possible. I thought it was interesting. <laughs> like Olivia Wilde, she's 
<laughs> Wouldn't you not agree? Oh! Uh, like very short lived series. Uh, I can't remember if it was Olivia Wilde and, and the one I keep mixing her up with. There's another girl that looks like Olivia Wilde. Can jack up the front, lower the deck, and pop off the old one. And I think if you loosen, step on this, well, it's still pretty tight. Do that when I come back. So, a uh, nice lady, um, and she was asking all kinds of great questions, you know, about the oil, about storing stuff, and uh, how to take the bag off. I mean, she was asking great questions, you know. You could tell that, you know, she really wanted to know. She even asked me how to take the carburetor apart. I mean, wow, that's pretty cool, you know. So, I enjoyed, I enjoyed talking to her. She was very nice, and uh, she gave me exactly what we said, $150. So, uh, really stoked to sell a mower this time of season. I know that some people are selling too, but like I said, I only have five. <laughs> I only have five pusher mowers, now only four, and I have uh, two lawn tractors to sell. So, you know, I used to get bites all the time because I had an abundance of, of things to sell, you know, like 25 things, so they're all listed. So you get the feeling that you're getting more responses from your listings. But if you only have five out there, you know, the responses or the people who, you know, are inquiring about them is much lower. But uh, pretty stoked that I got rid of another mower today. It's been a couple of weeks, you know, and uh, I don't expect, you know, too many sales for the remainder of the mowing season. But like I said, <laughs> there's a nut out there who wants it, you know. So I just got back and I removed the pulley. And as you could see, this pulley is kind of different. It's uh, like an inch, well, half an inch shorter, right? And you can tell that this one would accommodate a 5 8 belt a little bit better than this one. Not much, but a little bit, you know. They look pretty similar, but this one looks like you could fit the, the 5 8 belt better, you know, than this one. So you could tell why this one was kind of, um, you know, smoke, not smoking, but you could smell a little bit of rubber burning from that, you know. So I'm going to try to weasel it in there into the uh, machine. I was I couldn't get my impact in there, so basically I had to use some channel locks to grip this part here, and then just use a socket and a ratchet to get the bolt off. I'm gonna try to weasel it in there now. So I've been trying to install this one for like a while now. Uh, not this one, this one, right? And the thing is, so what I found out was that the one that I had in here, right? It doesn't have the collar on the top either, but it has a lip where the crankshaft goes in and it stops right around here where the keyway, where the key ends right there. So there's a lip right here. So the crankshaft goes in and stops. This one doesn't have that lip. It goes all the way in. So when I tighten this double stack pulley onto the crankshaft, this part here is on the bottom of the engine block so it wouldn't turn <laughs> you know I was trying to start it and it wouldn't turn because this part was you know tightened on top of the uh, engine block so I need to because this thing actually has a collar that goes over here that prevents and sits right on the groove of the crankshaft 
And so it allows it to spin. But this one doesn't have that lip. It goes all the way in. You could stick the screwdriver all the way through. You know what I mean? So that, that makes this go uh, and touch that thing. So what I have to do is I have to make a lip. And the only way to do that is you measure this. Goes there, right around there. Stick this in like there. And you can feel that it's right around the end of the crankshaft. So it's like around here. So I'm going to drill two holes and put a bolt through there. That way when you stick this crankshaft, uh, think, stick this pulley up there, it'll stop and give it space between here and the engine block. <laughs> That's my theory anyway, because I don't have the... The coupler, there's like a, there's like a, there's like a spacer thing right there. That's the same diameter as the crankshaft. I don't have one of those. You always lose those with the MTDs, you know. So I want to use this pulley because, as you can see, this pulley is not going to cause any kind of. This is the pulley that came with it. There's a lot more space for the belt, so I don't want this belt to rub. So I think it's the only way I can do it. So I'm going to put a hole right here using my my new uh, hole punch that I got from Robert Nighthawk. I'm gonna drill a hole here. I'm using my new impact drill bits that I got from Dom Whalen. As you know, he just came to visit me from vacation. Now I just put a bolt through there and that should stop the crankshaft from going all the way in so I can tighten it and then it should work. Or I could just take a 3H bolt and put it in there just to stop the crankshaft. That's not going to go in. There you go. Got that, that in there. Maybe I should do another one, huh? But that'll stop the bolt. Now that will stop the crankshaft from going all the way down, see? And I can tighten it that way. And that should work. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting that. I uh, didn't think I was gonna have a problem like that. So I've been, <laughs> I've been working on this for like an hour. I was just gonna change my air filters in my car sell that machine and now it just took an hour out of my day just to swap the um, the correct double stack pulley onto the crankshaft it bothered me it worked fine before but sometimes you just feel like well yeah if you have the original one why not put it in right but I didn't have that coupler but I already took it off so I was determined to get her done so putting two uh, small little nuts in there on each side if you, if you put it in all the way, right, you wouldn't be able to get the bolt in because the bolt would be in the way, right? So I've just put two screws in there like that. So in between them, I could put the bolt in to tighten, you know? I uh, used some monkey wrench or uh, side um, channel locks to hold the shaft while I tightened it. So uh, I, think, I think we got her going. Uh, I'm gonna start her up, move forward and backwards.
Beautiful. Right. Finally. Here at Mowers and Blowers, we push them into the garage, but they come out driving. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.